when's the last time you read a really good book? One that changed the way you thought about something, or maybe even a big decision in your life. Fry Gilliard is an author who's written about the books that made an impact on his life. He's here to tell us more. Fry, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you, Danny. And you were nice enough to bring a copy of your book with you. The Books That Mattered, A Reader's Memoir. This isn't so much a story as it is your thoughts on the books that you read growing up, and I'm assuming as an adult too, mm -hmm. that led you to different decisions. And yeah, um, you know, all of us get into conversations with people about books that were life-changing or life-enriching or whatever. What were our favorite books? And a couple of years ago, I'd been in several of those conversations over a short period of time, and it was kind of fun comparing notes with other people. And I just thought, well, you know, I think I'll write this down. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I started writing about different books and when I had encountered them and why they mattered to me and uh, looking for themes and connections from different books. And uh, so it, it was fun, and I've been going around talking to people and getting them to reflect on their favorite books, too. I'm not trying to tell people what books they should like, right. but just which ones meant the most to me, and hopefully people will think about that for themselves. And, and why they And why, yeah, ex exactly. The impact yeah. they had in, in, in some, is it the writing, is it the subject matter? Yeah. And you yeah. talk about that as well. Yeah. Now, I, you mentioned uh, the first book that you ever read that you actually liked is one that I read as well, Johnny Tremaine. Johnny Tremaine, I read that in the fourth grade. It was a children's book about the Revolutionary War, and I really had not liked books up until that point. Uh, they, you know, in school you read, you know, Sea Spot Run or whatever, and it <laughs> right. seemed incredibly boring yeah. to me. And then in the fourth grade I came upon this book, and, and I was just transported by the adventures of this 14-year-old boy in revolutionary Boston. Came to find out later that the author was a Pulitzer Prize winning historian, so she had a sense of that history and how to communicate it. And when I was writing this book, I went back and reread Johnny Tremaine, and I was just amazed at how well it stood up even for an adult reader. So it was kind of the open the door for me to, to books. Now, would you recommend going back and, and, and rereading things? Cause I love to do it. Really? Um, you know, I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea, but I, I love going back because the meaning changes for me. You know, like mm. Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, when I first read it when I was 14, right. same age that Huck Finn was in the book, it was just an adventure story. You know, these guys on a raft in the Mississippi River and me wishing I was with them, right. you know. Later, I came to, I went back and reread it and saw it as this great, satirical moral statement about you know issues that were important to the to the country so you were better re, able to appreciate uh, better Mark able to Twain appreciate it. what yeah, he was yeah, doing exactly right. sure yeah <clears throat> so now so what are the books that matter we said Johnny Tremaine and and, and what else jumps out at you well you know so just taking some there are about 30 books that I write about but mm -hmm. taking some Alabama authors I wrote about To Kill a Mockingbird and Harper, Harper Lee. Lee no great originality there but it was right. so, you know so many of us love that book uh, and uh, our Tuscaloosa friend Rick Bragg, I wrote about his book, Ava's Man, um, in a chapter called Family Values, where I talk about other writers writing about family and the different things that family means in our lives. And, you know, Rick is such a great writer and a great storyteller, and that, so that was one of my favorite books in that genre. Uh, one of the most recent books I wrote about was Ahab's Wife by... Sina Jeter Nasland, who's a writer originally from Birmingham, and mm. it's a novel where she creates the character of Captain Ahab's wife from, from Moby, Moby Dick. Dick. Wow, yeah. okay. And it's a great novel. It's as, in, in its own way, it's as powerful as Moby Dick. So the books span kind of a lifetime of reading for me, from you know the first one I read in the fourth grade to these very recent encounters with books like, like Sina's. There you go. Fry, thank you so much for being with us. Thank today. you, Dan. And best of Appreciate luck with it. the book. Okay, you can find out more about Fry's book and how to buy it by calling 334-834-3556 or online at newsouthbooks.com. Don't go anywhere. More First at Four is on the way.